Welcome back to the ABC4 News at 4 o'clock. It is Friday, so you know that means it is time for Kids Under Construction with parenting author and journalist Donna Tatro. She's joining us from L.A. via Zoom. Donna, on Monday we talked about the positive benefits of having your kids participate in youth sports. We'll kind of review those real quick for everyone at home. Self-esteem, teamwork, time management, and decisive action. But now today we want to talk about what happens when your child wants to quit. So let's first talk about the number of kids who do quit sports and why this is happening in the first place. Yeah, this is so interesting and it actually makes me really sad as a parent and as a community member seeing all these kids. By age 11, most kids quit playing sports. That's the average kid and they've only played a sport for about three years. Also, 45% of kids play only one sport. So that's interesting and something that we have to really think about. And kids are also saying that they're quitting because it's not fun anymore and they feel too much pressure. And so I wanna give you an example of a story, something that I actually witnessed that really talks to this not fun and no pressure. And it, it could be with well-meaning parents. Look, every parent out there is well-meaning. They want their kid to have a good time and play. But I was witness to this baseball game once and there was a kid at the plate, dad was the coach, dad's yelling at him saying, swing if you like it. Ball goes by, kid doesn't swing. It was like a ball. So the, the kid, you know, waits again for the next pitch. Dad says, swing if you like it, even louder, screaming, really kind of upset. Kid doesn't swing. Again, ball comes through. Dad says, I told you, swing if you like it. Then you get this kid who screams at his dad and says, I didn't like it. So what's going on here is that parents are putting pressure on to these kids and they just don't really know that they're doing it. Think about it. If you were at work and somebody was screaming at you to do something or you were in school and someone was screaming at you in front of all these people, that wouldn't make it fun anymore, would it? And it would be filled with pressure. And so that's what we're seeing. So parents have to really take this step back and, sh and see that this is not fun for their kids and it's too much pressure. Oh, that's such a sad situation that you witnessed there because really it's not about the parent. It's about your child having fun. Now, if you do need to move on if for some reason or the other, it's time to move on from a sport that you're part of. How can we look at that as maybe changing instead of quitting something that we've started? Yeah, so look, what I like to say to parents is if a kid starts uh, a season, they can't quit, you know, because they made this commitment to the team, to the coach, to themselves, really. But if a kid wants to quit, if you will, a sport, instead of saying that word quit with, with such a negative connotation, rephrase it and say, I'm going to change course, meaning I'm going to just pick another sport. Remember up at the top, we talked about the fact that 45% of kids only play one sport. Why is that? Why aren't more kids playing more sports, trying new things? So instead of saying, oh, you're going to quit, or kid says, I'm going to quit, say, actually, why don't you just change course? Why don't you figure out another sport that you would like? What else are you interested in? Okay, let's talk more about that quitting during a season. Not advised. L let's talk about the why behind that and maybe what you can do to help your child finish off the season if for some reason it's just not going as they'd hoped. Yeah, and you know, it, it's it, it could happen. You know, a kid might not feel like they are connecting with the coach or with the other team members, or they just don't feel like they're enjoying it. But what we have to do is we really have to talk to our kids and really help them understand that this is kind of part of life where if we make a commitment to something, then we have to stick with it. You don't, you just have to finish out this season and it's okay. You know, if, if you have a different personality from the coach, we understand that, but guess what? You're gonna learn from this. You're gonna learn how to work with other people, other coaches. And you know what? You might surprise yourself by the end of the season, you might have turned it around. So let's stick with it until the end of the season and then see what you wanna do after the season. Such an important lesson for our little kids and really for parents as well, because we gotta remember that we have to finish off the things we commit to as well. Donna, thanks so much for joining us. We do appreciate it as always. We do wanna remind everyone at home that if you have a question for Donna, please send them to us. Make a video, send it over to kids under construction at abc4.com. And if you wanna hear more from Donna, which I know you do, go to abc4.com and you can check out her podcast, Kids Under Construction. Donna, have a great weekend. We appreciate you.